Hey y'all, this is your girl Tashin. How you doing? How you feeling? How you feeling today? I hope you're doing great. Yes, 17 weird things Swedish people do. Culture fun facts, okay? And um, let's just get straight to it. <laughs> This video is sponsored by none other than Squarespace, the best place to go when you want to get a domain or create a website or online store. Konnichiwa from Tokyo, but this video is about Scandinavia, so no more Japan stuff in this one. If you want to see what we get up to in Tokyo, go check out our vlogs from here over on our other channel. I'll put a link in the description. I asked you guys over on Instagram which videos you want me to make and this was one of the most popular ideas. Now all countries have their own weird customs and behaviours and Swedes definitely are no exception. I'm Swedish myself and a lot of these things I didn't realise were completely bonkers until I left and moved <laughs> to another country. I thought this is just how people behave, it's human. I want to say that, uh, I forgot to mention, when I saw her face, I am familiar with, I know her, I followed her before years ago and I did not even know she was Swedish. Um, I think I follow her because I think she was a, she, she's a, uh, what you call it? Oh, what's that word? Middle, minimalist? Yeah. Nature all over the world, but no, no, people do not behave like this everywhere. It's time to roast my own country people and call them out on their strange and embarrassing habits. Okay, okay, I'm one of them, so I'm gonna roast myself today as well. Let's do it. <laughs> In Sweden, no one is ever better than anyone else. It's considered completely vulgar to brag about yourself or even slightly point out one of your good sides. If someone gives you a compliment, you can't say just thank you. Instead, you have to go like, oh no, not me, not at all, I'm not good at this at all. All this makes job interviews a kind of tricky business in Sweden. <laughs> Swedish people's favorite word isn't about love or thank you or please or oh goody or something cute like that. Our favorite word is oi. We oi? say it all the time. It means kind of like oops and wow combined. Oi, the short little ugly word is used instead of oh really and cool and even excuse me. Yep, if a Swedish person bumps into someone they will simply say a little oi. This got me into trouble when I moved to London and as a reflex went oi whenever I walked into someone. Because British people use the word oi too, but there it has a not so nice meaning. Oi. oi. I was the rudest Londoner until I got oi. out of the habit of oying people on the street. I have a habit of saying sorry even though I didn't touch the person or the person didn't touch me. It's a habit because I think like I said, my family is from Jamaica, and like I always hear Jamaican people say sorry. They don't say excuse me. You know, America in America we say excuse me, but like in Jamaica they say sorry. So I kind of pick up that habit. So when I'm going somewhere, or if I bump into somebody, or before, or I'm in their way, I, I, I have a habit of saying sorry. And sometimes people look at me like, why are you saying sorry? I didn't, you didn't do anything. I'm like, it's just a habit. <laughs> You're not allowed to buy alcohol in the supermarket in Sweden. The only place you can get your drinks are at Systembolaget, a speciality shop that closes on 7 on weekdays, 3 on Saturdays and is closed on Sundays. The lines on Friday evenings and Saturday afternoons are ridiculous. I can when you're imagine. walking in the forest in Sweden, people come from work and they want to, you know, enjoy the weekend. Because everyone walks in the forest in my country, you wear rubber wellies. In those wellies you put crunchy crisp bread. Why? Because there are badgers in Sweden and an old myth is that when badgers bite you, they don't let go until they hear bones cracking. So naturally, you outsmart the badgers by putting crunchy bread in your boots that will crack, satisfying the badger, and you can both leave the encounter completely satisfied. Wait, what? That is crazy. A big problem in Sweden is the boys in the north. Sweden is a very long country and up in the northern part it's cold, dark and gloomy. Beautiful, oh. but oh It's beautiful. Oh, break the winter soldier. <laughs> oh man, the weather is tough. Also, there are no big cities and not as many work opportunities as in the southern parts, so a lot of Swedish oh. girls have ambitions. They move south the day after graduation, trying their luck in Stockholm or Gothenburg, for example. The boys aren't as ambitious, staying behind. So there are actually whole villages in Sweden with very few young women, only a bunch of very lonely dudes. 
In Sweden, we don't like to stand out. It has to do with that whole, you're not supposed to brag and think you're special kind of thing. So we like dressing the same. If you walk down the street in Stockholm, you'll be convinced that you're seeing the same few people over and over again. Nope, we're just all... Well, I'll fit in, because I'm plain Jane, so I don't stand out. <laughs> I'm wearing something with design on it, but I don't wear this outside. I don't know yet, but I'm plain Jane. So yeah, I wear black, beige, and that's it. So I guess I'll fit in. <laughs> all imitating each other. If you want to be cool in Sweden, you'll speak super cutely to strangers. Don't ask me why this is cool, but people go like, Hi, sweetie. Hey, Gullet. Hi, Missy. No matter who you're talking to. Even the 56-year-old bus driver with prison tattoos is in on it. We are... I want to start doing that. Hey, sweetie. Hi, cutie. I'm gonna start, yeah, I'm gonna start doing that. Extremely reserved people. We do not like talking to strangers or even talking to acquaintances. We hate it when we see someone we know on the street because then we have to talk to them. <laughs> Before leaving the- What is wrong with this? this is, that's the only thing that bothers me. Like, y'all don't wanna talk to each other. It gotta be boring. Come on. There's, there's no wrong talking to each other. Come on, we shouldn't be like this. <laughs> I'm quite sure a lot of a lot of Swedish people are not like that. The apartment, we look in the little peephole to make sure that no neighbor is out there waiting for the elevator. If there are someone there, we will wait for them to get into the elevator first and we get the next one. If you've ever heard a Swedish person small talk, you'll understand what? why. Which brings me to... If you ask a Swedish person, hi, how are you? Don't expect to get a great, how are you back. Don't ask someone how they're doing in Sweden if you don't want to get depressed. We love to complain. We will tell you the gory details of our kid's ear infection, the horrible way our dentist messed up our tooth yesterday, how expensive everything has become, and how we've not been sleeping well lately. Again, it's all about not bragging about your life. Strange as it might sound, we trust society. We believe strangers uh, wait, hold on. Before we get fur further, um, wait, what? Yeah, I don't think I can have a conversation with anybody that's going to complain. I can't stand people that complain, complain, complain. I don't... Is that true, what she's saying? Comment below. Let me know if you agree with her. Let me know if you agree with her so far. These are good people and we never ever expect to be hustled or tricked. It was a shock for me moving to London and realizing that I had to watch my back. My whole life up until then I'd just been a trusting person because in Sweden in general you really can be. To sound friendly we like doubling up words to be cute. Hey hey, tack tack, mosh mosh, puss puss, tjena tjena, god kväll god kväll. See, it works. Cute and friendly. <laughs> Again, no one is better than anyone else in Sweden, so we hate hierarchies. Your boss will always try to be just one of the guys, and you never use Mr. or Miss with anyone. We're all on first name basis. At uni, there are no Professor this or Doctor that, it's just John and Julia, which means I didn't even know who were professors or doctors or assistants or guest lecturers. That's nice. You know, you, feel, you don't feel, you know, intimidated. <laughs> My school. They were all just people. This people. isn't strange. It's hygienic, people. Take off your bloody shoes. It's <laughs> nasty having them on indoors. Bar I'm sorry, I said this already in another video. I'm American and I agree with that. The shoes should not be, if you're coming from the street, you should not walk, walk in the house with your shoes on because it picks up germs, especially here in New York. You know, the streets are dirty and filthy, okay? And we have rodents on the street late at night and you know they pee and poop. Dogs poop on the streets. Homeless people be on the street peeing on the floor and God know what, what else they be doing. It's just, yeah, you should not be walking in the house with shoes on. Barrick. We are one of the, if not the, most coffee drinking people on earth. Yet we don't have different kinds of coffee. It's all just a cup of coffee and cup cafe. No macchiatos or ristrettos or avogatos or espressos. It's just coffee. Wait, no latte? I love latte. There's no latte? With potor if you're lucky, which means a refill. Oh, there's one other type that old people drink. It's called café pofat, which means coffee Cafe on saucer. Pofat? Yep, they pour some coffee Cafe onto their saucer, pofat. place a sugar cube in between their teeth and then slurp the coffee from the saucer through the sugar cube. 
nasty stuff, but I used to love it as a kid though. We're a feminist people and it shows in our fashion. Women like to dress quite masculine because it makes us cool. Men get away with dressing hipstery, soft and cute because that makes them cool enough to be comfortable in their own. I've mentioned this in another video that I love how the way I dress. I love the fashion. It's just simple, but it's like me. For example, I was a tomboy, but I used to like to dress tom, tom tomboy, but girly. Se sexy at the same time, if that makes sense. So it was like, yeah, is that swag that I like? Um, yeah. Own masculinity. It makes for great people watching. The Swedish style is just mwah. The crossover between the kebab and the pizza with iceberg, lettuce and everything. Oh, and sometimes the whole shebang gets covered with french fries just to get it all in there. Oh, wow. A heart attack on a platter. In Sweden, we don't have places that only takes cash. We have places that don't take cash at all. The coins and bills are a thing of the past and everything is done electronically in Sweden. Very futuristic. So yes, Sweden- Wow, so what if a homeless person was, you know, confront you and ask you for you have change? Like, wow, I'm just saying like. <laughs> but that's cool though, that's cool. These people are weird but I'm pretty sure you guys are just as weird only in different ways if you want to hear more about life in Scandinavia David and I made a podcast episode about growing up in the north I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out but now it is your turn to share with the rest of us the strangest bloody thing people in your country do I've heard that Spanish people believe in the Christmas poop man for example can you top that talk to you down in the comments a big thank you to my love Oh my god, I love her. That's why I was subscribed to her years ago, but I didn't even know she was Swedish. I really didn't. <laughs> but um, she just have a nice personality. But yes, that was very interesting. Wow. It's the talking. Y'all don't y'all really don't like talking to people, huh? It's because y'all really, really shy or y'all just uh, that's crazy. And you know, you have to expect when you're on the train or going somewhere on the bus, whatever, I, people don't want to talk, you know? No small talk, you know? Not that, hi, how you doing? They don't want to do none of that. <laughs> I'm a friendly person, so it's like, I don't know. That'd probably be hard for me. <laughs> but this was very interesting. I definitely want to do more <clears throat> this type of videos. I just finished doing five things, no, five things, yeah, five things you should not do um wait, which one was it no five things not to do in sweden i see there's another video that says five things you should not do around swedish people i'm definitely going to do that one but uh yeah so there's other videos i'm going to do about sweden i have so many uh videos to make um yeah so make sure you subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to you know comment below let me know what's the next video that you would like me to react to and I have other videos you could watch and I see our lovely people take care of yourself I gotta find another way to say goodbye she said it I'm gonna learn don't worry the next video the next video <laughs> bye peace